Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are doing an arithmetic operations on rational numbers problem. If you are new to this channel, take a second to read the description box below and then come back and join us. Okay, so this question says 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 squared plus 0 0.1 cubed equals what? So um, the best way to do this problem, in my opinion, is to just figure out what all of the numbers are individually and then add them up. So what I mean by that is we have 0 0.1, which can just stay in its cur current form. We have 0 0.1 squared, which is equal to 0 0.1 times 0 0.1. So in order to do this, if you remember one of my methods from my last videos, you can just move this decimal one to the right, and then you can move this one to the left. So that would give you 0 0.01. Of course, you can also just multiply them. So you could just do something like this, and you do one times one is one, zero, um, zero, 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 one, and then move your decimal over two places, and you get 0 0.01. So again, this is just kind of a shortcut, um, but you can also do it this way, the long way, of course. So now we have this last term here, which is 0 0.1 cubed, which is going to be equal to 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.1. Again, you can do this the long way or the short way. We already know um, that this is equal to this from the last part. So now we just have 0 0.01 times 0 0.1. Again, here we can move the decimal 2 to the right here, which is going to make this one go 2 to the left, and we're going to get 0 0.001. Or again, you can do it the long way, whichever way you prefer. Um, and so this is going to equal, be equal to this 0 0.1 cubed. Now all we have to do is add all of those up. So in order to do that, we have to remember to line up our decimals. That's very important. So this number, we have 0 0.1, um, and then we have 0 0.01, and then we have our last number, which is 0 0.001. All right, we're gonna put that there. And now, again, there are zeros here that I just didn't write. So this is one, 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 we can put our decimal point and a zero. So this here is going to be our final answer. So again, just to recap, remember what your exponent, what your exponents mean. So be sure to multiply this by itself that number of times. When you're adding decimals, remember to line up the decimal. That's very important. And if you don't have any numbers here, just add filler zeros and you will be good to go. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have three quick homework assignments for you guys. The first one is to download your free GMAT formula sheet if you haven't done so yet. You, the second one is to like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you want extra credit. And lastly is to do question number 16 before Tuesday so you're ready to go for the next video. All right, see you guys next time.